Hi, it's Daniel. Uh, I thought I'd just do a wee quick video of this Volvo. Normally I do this for customers um, before we agree it. I know, or normally people come down uh, to obviously view the car, but because you're a wee bit far away, I'm just going to go walk around the car just very briefly, just show you everything, uh, just so that you've seen it in a wee bit uh, more detail before going ahead with it. Largely, it's fine, there's nothing really to complain about, but I'll just go through the wee minor imperfections that are on the car. Being the age it is and the mileage, there's obviously going to be a few things, so let me just go around the car, okay? So we'll start at the corner. So this side of the car is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with the wing, the bumper, doors free from dents, <clears throat> mirrors are in good order. There's nothing to write home about here. Rear of the car. Much the same story. Uh, that's just polish. It's been polished, so it just needs another re going over just to take the bits of residue off. Same way here as well. Uh, but again, the back end of the car, nothing much to note. If you're ultra critical, a few wee chips and minor scratches just in the loading area of the boot. Pretty standard with most cars, especially estate cars. Um, show you inside the boot as well. Mats are here. There's actually a floor mat as well. Not a floor mat, a sort of protector, boot protector mat as well under there. And then you get your wee cubby hole for your bit, bits and bobs. Parcel shelves there, intact. This corner of the car's fine as well. Just have a wee look. Just We're all good. Paint work's all good as well. And then just try and show you the reflection of that. So, like I said, paint work's all, all nice. There's nothing really to write home about here. Uh, the only bit in the car, like all, all cars, it's always going to be the front of the car because that's where uh, most of the wee stone chips and stuff are going to hit. So. The bonnet's okay, I'm trying my best to show you this uh, in the light, the lighting isn't great in here uh, and the lighting outside is pretty dark as well but bonnet and bumper, mostly fine, if you go up close enough you'll see the odd wee stone chip here and there. I've got some black paint, I think it's the same colour as Volvo but I've definitely got a, a metallic black Ford colour as well. So I'll try a wee bit just to see if it matches uh, and then I'll touch a couple of these wee bits in. Um, front corner of the car. Uh, you can't really see this too well in, in the light, but just minor sort of surface scratches here. Uh, nothing major, like even even if I get this camera right up here, it's really, really hard to see it. Uh, I mean, that's how slight they are, but it's just to let you know that there is a couple of wee minor things here. Um, certainly nothing that's, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's an accident or um, certainly doesn't need... Um, painted again uh, and then the other part what's that because we snail attached itself to the car oops sorry snail um uh, the vr design badge uh, i'll try and order one of these for you because obviously because i've not had the car in for stock that long i've only had it advertised for a matter of days before you've uh, messaged about it so Still the odd wee bit involved, so I'll try and get an, a, a new art design badge for you that you can just stick on there. Um, and then, likewise with the front bumper, if you go up close enough to it, you'll see the odd wee stone chip here. But probably nothing significant enough that you'll be able to see in the video. Minor view on there. Uh, and certainly from standing a metre back from the car, don't notice anything. Inside of the car. Much a similar story, there's nothing major, major wrong. Uh, all the trim, the carpets, uh, the dashboard, etc. That's all in good order. Passenger seat. Uh, I've tried to turn the light on here. Here we go. The passenger seat's all right. Seat posters are fine there. Driver's seat, mostly all right. A little bit of cracking just down here. Uh, but the, the sort of upright bolster, there's no problem there. That's the bit that everyone always sits on when they get in the car. Um, even with, like, I've got a, there's an XC70 there as well, similar mileage. 
Uh, that's full leather and not the sort of half leather and that's the exact same um, it's hard to avoid it back end of this car again fine nothing really wrong here the back back seats look in good order there's no tears or stains uh, bad rips on the carpets or seats or anything um seats are two parts so fabric and then this is like four leather and then this bit in the middle is it's almost like a suede thing so it's like three different fabrics that are on the seat this bit's easy to clean, that bit's easy to clean. The white sort of faux leather bits are a wee bit more difficult. Um, so, I mean, there's obviously, there's some evidence of them <laughs> been sat on in, in, in the past. Uh, but like I said, from a meter away, it looks fine. I'm just maybe been ultra critical, but I just want you to know as much as you can about the car just so that your expectations are set um, everything else works like all the electrics and all that sort of stuff are all good turns on no bother I'll make sure there's a bit of fuel in it obviously uh, and I all your wee bits and bobs work as they should so hope that's informative enough for you I know you didn't ask me for this but I just wanted to show you anyway I normally offer it to customers when I speak to them, but because I've not really spoken to you that much about it, haven't had the chance. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate your, uh, what's the word? Uh, quickness, is that a word? <laughs> um, appreciate you getting all the finance stuff sorted quickly for me. Uh, I'll get to work over the next couple of days just to try and make it as perfect as I can for you. And uh, delivery, I'll, I'll, arrange, I'll arrange delivery, I'll try and do it tomorrow and arrange it for later on in the week. Uh, if you've got any other questions, just message me back. Thank you.